14th of January already glorious glorious Sunday morning probably about 10 past 8 in the morning lovely sunrise behind me I don't know if you can see that in the mirror the light is stunning at the moment yeah, roads feel okay underfoot and under tyre at the moment that sunrise I was on about has disappeared now a minute later yeah, so the temperature <coughs> is hovering just above freezing at the moment. It's around about one, possibly two degrees. Now, in this weather, you've just got to be a little bit careful, a bit more careful, should I say, of things like white lines and joins in the tyre and manhole covers. Personhole covers, as I like to call them. Because even though once the sun gets on the road, oh there's that sunrise again, once the sun gets on the road and starts warming up, those things will be the last to uh, thaw out. I mean white lines like these that are really well worn you're probably okay with. Just be careful. We don't want a cropper, do we? Well, but this morning on the way up, they'll stick to the main road, I think, today. I mean, the Vigelia might be a little bit funny in places because it's so shaded and it'll take a little while for the sun to get onto it I mean this time of year there's not a lot of heat coming off the, I mean there's a lot of heat coming off the sun but not a lot of it's getting to the earth if you know what I mean I'm not one for putting my bikes away in the winter don't agree with that if you're gonna have a bike you're going to use it, use it all year round, as long as you're careful, as long as you're careful and mindful, screaming that little C2, there's that sunrise again over Derby, That's felt a little bit slippy there then. There's the lovely Peak District. Yeah, look at that, isn't that lovely? Other roundabouts you have to be careful of are ones like this one here that have got an overbridge on them. There's obviously and all these trees there because they're all sheltered by the trees so you heat from your sun's not going to be getting anywhere near these for a long time and it's sheltered and it does feel a little bit icy there the overall aim of a ride out is to get to where you want to safely and in one piece and enjoy the ride at the time, same time, so ride according to the conditions. And if you look at the road ahead, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can see the tyre tracks in one, one and three. And it looks drier, it's a lot drier in position two, where the heat of the engines that have gone over here have kind of thawed it out a little bit. 
I mean this bike has gone over a few times on the ice twice that I know of, not with me on it yeah, it's recently been gritted this you can see it at the edges of the road Another telltale sign of the road going out is if you look at the parked cars they've still got ice on the windows and the chances are there's a little bit of ice probably still on the road but as soon as they start thawing out and it's only a thin layer on the cars so I'll tell you what my little fingers are cold though Woo! That red warning light on the um, box there is actually warning me that um, the brake lights are not working but I checked them this morning and they are working so it's obviously a fault with the system Maybe the rear, I think the rear brake light switch might need a bit of um, attention It is working, they're all working so There won't be many, like, many motorbikes out at the moment, but you can bet after about 11 o'clock there'll be a fair few. Also, riding all year round, it um, improves your riding skills no end. I'm going to make coffee this morning and if that river ever freezes over then you shouldn't be out at all because it's going to be very very cold for that to freeze over I'd say for that to freeze it would have to be about minus 15 and then the grit on the road when it's that cold the grit some of the stuff they put on the roads will not work I remember a few winters ago it's probably about 12 years ago now when the temperature I can't remember what month it was I think it was January did in the UK drop in, and when I say the UK I mean the Midlands and the south of the UK did drop to around about minus 15 to minus 18 and I remember going down the M5 I was working nights at the time coming up the M5 sorry when there were clumps of ice just on the road where nothing could thaw it out look at the colour of them trees there all golden there's some sun casting its light over them Absolutely lovely. Look at that, just say, look at that, that is absolutely gorgeous. <coughs> Should have brought the DSLR. Like this here, look. So if you go through that dead steady and upright. Now then, I don't know whether to go up via jelly yet. I'll go up towards Bakewell so the Vigelia could be a little bit wet let's be careful eh watch um, Roadcraft Nottingham's upload on um, cornering the best way to take a corner as in closing, closing if the bend's closing up like this one is <coughs> excuse me you close off your speed and your throttle 
so you've got the view around the corner select the appropriate gear as the bend opens up you can open up put that into practice a bit of a dangerous overtake wasn't it that's I'm sure that's where that white car overtook me that white car that overtook me as I was coming down here someone's drawn a big penis around that bottle there It was a little bit slippy here. I'm well, just about there, did anyway. Although it could be my imagination. But this is well sheltered under here. This is where it will take, if it is icy, it will take a long time uh, to go to thaw out. Just feels a little bit skitty under under wheel at the moment. And the last thing I want to be doing is hitting that tarmac. Just look at the light at this time of morning. I need my hands around the warm cup of coffee right now. Just the left hand, I can't feel the left hand. It's not because it's cold, it's got pins and needles. There, it's doing better now though. Hasn't this absolutely lovely? This has gone one of the nicest mornings for a long time I've been up here. Lovely, look at this. Now why would you do why would you put your bikes away in the winter time when you've got you know you've got light and scenery like this to enjoy quiet roads? Yes it's cold and you could ride accordingly. I'm not saying you won't come across it but you're far less likely to. I mean this is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Massive hole there on the left. I don't know what there look. In the summertime there will be more longer videos, not necessarily longer videos, but different places rather than just up here on a Sunday. I'm still going to do my Sunday morning uh, ride out to Monash, especially in the summer because it's really nice in the summer. Now we have to watch this road because the chances are this road will not have been treated. Although it might have been. Oh, this is stunning, look at that.
out here every single week. And you get over the top of this hill here. The view is just spectacular. this corner here. Look at that. Just check that out. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? All the dry stone walls, there's not a single bit of concrete in them walls. They're all dry stoned. It's absolutely lovely. Anyway, bacon sandwich, here we come. Now this feels a little bit icy. Look at this. Yep, this is icy here. Yeah, you can see it glistening. We do not want to come a cropper half a mile away from our destination, do we? Yeah, it really does feel a bit uh, It might just be my imagination, but I think this road's a bit icy. You can see it glistening. Don't want to come a cropper there, that's definitely ice there, look. up here a bit. Alright now. <coughs> that was definitely a bit of ice then. Be alright coming back because the sun will get on it. The sun's coming up nicely now. Oh. And that horse shit. Oh, Jesus, put the ice on them cars there. If there's gonna be anyone here, I was last one here last week. <laughs> I didn't get here till about ten past ten. <laughs> <coughs> no, there's no one here. Yet. We are open. Ah. That's going to smoke, isn't it? If I leave that there, that's going to smoke. But if I back it in, it won't.
heated grips off, engine on. Ooh. 